we couldn't have the society we have. I mean, we are so dependent on polymeric materials, and they're great things. Our high standard of living is largely dependent on that. Uh, but they're hydrocarbons generally, uh, and so they burn very well. For most applications, they have to be flame retarded. Uh, so you know, without flame retardants, we couldn't have the standard of living that we take for granted. I mean, uh, it's just one of those developments that has been very good to us. Flame retardants and the history of polymers are interconnected. Polymers began to substitute for natural materials uh, back in the 40s, but they didn't really take off to like the 70s and 80s. For example, it, uh, water is in a plastic bottle instead of a glass bottle. Your furniture is not wood anymore, it's a plastic. Your car is a plastic. Even though it looks like the real thing, plastics burn easily because at the end of the day, they're carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, and the bonds are much weaker than the original metals. If we're going to sit on, uh, on something that's, that's comfortable and uh, cushiony, it is very likely we're going to have to do something about flame retarding it. Otherwise, we're going to sit on something very, very hard. Uh, most of us don't want to do that. Uh, if we put wood on, on the wall, uh, that's, that's fine. And, uh, but if, we, uh, if we're going to put wall, wood on the wall on, on areas where there is high risk, we're probably going to have to have fire retardant treated wood. Otherwise, it's, it's not going to work. Otherwise, we, we have a, a danger. Put wall coverings on the, on the walls. Wall coverings, uh, unless you're in a situation where there's no, no danger, when you're in a high risk situation, you're probably going to have wall coverings that have flame retardants in there or that have uh, materials with improved fire safety in there.